Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to be looking at the pronunciation of this letter in Spanish, of the letter R in Spanish. The name of this letter in Spanish is R, okay? This, this letter is called R in Spanish and as its name gives it away, one of the sounds of this letter is this R, okay? R. But it's got another sound, a little bit softer, okay? So the letter R, R, has got a strong sound, okay, strong sound, which we will represent as this, okay, with this little symbol here, it's strong, it's hard, okay, and then it's got a soft sound, okay, it's soft sound, which we will represent as this, okay, so this is the strong sound, this R, R, okay, you don't need to go on and on, it's not as long as I'm doing it, I'm just exaggerating it, okay, so one sound, the strong sound is R, Okay, R, and the soft sound is R, okay, R, 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 it's a bit softer, okay, as in, I don't know, I could say the word pero, 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 okay, it's, it's a bit softer, so a strong R and a soft R. Let's have a look then at one, when, sorry, when am I going to say R and when am I going to say R. Let's start with the stronger sound, this R sound. The first thing I need to mention is that if you are a native English speaker, the chances of you being able to do the sound R straight away, like, I'm, like I do it, are quite slim. You might be able to, you might be able to, some people are, straight away, but it is probably one of the hardest sounds to master when you're learning Spanish and you are a native speaker of English, because in English you haven't got such a strong sound. Okay? But please, 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 don't let this put you off. If instead of doing R, you do R, okay, or sorry, you do R, the, the, the more British R, people are still going to understand you. Okay, you will, yes, you will not sound native Spanish, no, but it doesn't matter, okay, you will still be understood. So please, 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 do not let you put, you know, you do not put, let you, let this put you off, okay? It will come with time and practice nobody's born being able to do dr, okay? Uh, so, this stronger dr, we find it in words like correr, okay? We find it in words like correr, we find it in words like rueda, okay? Correr, rueda, and we find it in words like, for example, alrededor, okay? Correr, rueda, alrededor, okay? O honrado, honrado. Try at home to do this, okay? Even if it's, if it's tricky, even if it's hard, hard, try, okay? Correr, rueda, alrededor, honrado. So let's have a look what we find in these words. So correr, why is this pronounced as a dr? Very straightforward, because you've got two R's, okay? You've got, here in this case, there is a double, double R, okay? Double R. Whenever you find double R's, which will be generally between two vowels, that will be automatically a strong dr, okay? Correr. Two R's, strong, correr. Another case is when you find an R, at the beginning of a word, okay? So this, this, um, this word starts with an R, therefore this R is strong, is strong, okay? Rueda, rueda, I don't say rueda, I say rueda, okay? So correr, double R, rueda, beginning of word, strong R. And then here, what I find in these words, alrededor, honrado, is that I've got this R that comes straight after certain letters, okay? These certain letters that the R will come after for it to be strong are, so let me write here, after, so after L, like in alrededor, okay? After N, like honrado, after S, and I'll give you an example, uh, the word, for example, or the, or the, the um, name Israel, 
Israel. Okay, can you see the R is strong as well? Israel. And the other case where it's also a hard R is after the prefix sub. Okay, so words that start with sub and then continue with an R, that R will be strong, like for example, or hard, okay, strong R. Like for example, subrayar, okay, subrayar, can you hear? Subrayar, it's not subrayar, it's subrayar, the sub and then an R, so it's a strong R, okay, subrayar, okay? So I hope this makes sense. So, so far we've got strong R when you find double R, when a word begins with an R, or after, or when that R is straight after an L, like here, an N, an R, or the word soup. Right. You will see that the more you use it, the more you read, the more you hear, this will just make sense, okay? This will just happen, okay? So you won't really need to remember this and when every time you find an R, oh, hold on a second, is this an R after an L after a It will just come natural, okay? In fact, if you try and, and pronounce this as alrededor with a, with a soft R, it's really complicated, okay? So probably the most natural thing for you will be to go for a hard R, okay? For a strong R. So don't worry, I'm just breaking it down so that it makes sense. So that when you hear that some R's are R and some R's are R, you know why. Okay? So this, okay, all of this is when we, we pronounce a strong R. And then when do we have, when are we going to pronounce R as a soft R, okay, as a R? When are we going to pronounce it as a R? So, any other time. Okay, so any time where the R is not a double R, is not at the beginning of the of a, of a word, and is not after L, N, R, or after sub, then it will be a soft R. Okay, is a R. Cases of this word of uh, examples of words where I find a soft R, for example, the word pera, pera, Spanish for pear, pera, pera. Can you hear this R is softer? Yeah, compare this pera with correr. Pera, correr. Okay? Pera. It's inside a word between two vowels, but it's a single R. Therefore, it's a soft R. Okay? Another word, for example, comer. Comer. It's this R is at the end of the word. Okay? So it's at the end of the word, so it's a soft R. Comer. I don't say comer. Comer. No, it's comer, soft R, okay? Another example is the word árbol, árbol, okay? Árbol, it's the Spanish for tree, árbol. Again, a soft R. Now, if you want to remember the two possible uh, sounds of R, the strong sound and the soft sound, a bit of a classic example to remember is two words. We've got perro and we've got pero. Okay? Perro, pero. Two similar words, very different meanings. Perro is the Spanish for dog. Pero is the, Sp is the Spanish for but, as in however. Okay? Perro, pero. So it's, it would be a good idea to practice saying these, these two words, okay, to try and master that pronunciation, the different pronunciation of the strong R and the soft R, okay, perro and pero. So I hope all of this makes sense. Thank you for your attention. Bye-bye.